Thanks for joining us today to talk about biological verification. Biological verification is a tool that enables the test administrator to do a verification of the components of the audiometer to ensure that there are no issues with sound output. Some people refer to this as biological calibration, but here at Shoebox, because we're not calibrating anything per se, we prefer the term biological verification. Our system has the ability to do a daily check, which is a one-tone presentation in each ear at 70 decibels at 1,000 hertz, and that can be done in a matter of seconds. For those who would like to do a more complete verification, this is where actually testing your own hearing comes into play. In terms of the frequency of doing a biological verification, that would vary based on use case. A lot of our occupational health customers will be doing it on a daily basis prior to testing employees. However, if that's not possible, we recommend doing it anytime the audiometer is changing environments or hasn't been used for a while. In order to do this, you would want to set up a patient in your system entitled Biological Verification or another title that makes it easy to find and test a minimum of three frequencies per ear. You'll want to do the baseline test on yourself or a member of your team when their ears are free and clear and there's no congestion. Prior to starting the hearing test, we recommend doing a visual inspection of all of the equipment. Uh, this includes the headphones where you'll be looking um, at the padding and looking for any cracks on there or issues, as well as the connectors and feeling down the cable, uh, feeling for any breaks or inconsistencies. And finally, doing a visual inspection of the jack. Uh, there can be um, oxidation buildup that can uh, change in color. Sometimes it's green in color, black. It can also be clear. Should you notice any buildup on your jack, we recommend taking an alcohol wipe and wiping it clean, waiting a few seconds for it to dry prior to plugging it into your system. When you are doing a test that you will be comparing to the baseline biological verification, you will want to ensure that all of the frequencies are within 10 decibels of the original measure. Should there be more than 10 decibels difference at any given frequency, that prompts further follow-up action. Should you detect any static or intermittency with the transducer, that is a red flag and indicates that you will want to be replacing those transducers. For detailed instructions, please refer to our user guides. For more information, we also recommend ANSI ASA S3.6 2010 Specification for Audiometers, where they have a full annex that addresses daily checks and functional verification in Annex G. Thanks very much for watching. If there are any topics that you would like us to address in future videos, please leave them in the comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive regular updates from the Shoebox Audiometry team. Thank you.